Okay. Oh god, I hit a button. What just happened? Okay. <laughs> Refined false alarm. Let me uh let me let me close out of that. <laughs> I got this uh NVIDIA game whatever thing. You can see like your FPS and all this uh your 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 uh CPU temperature and all this other shit. And apparently I hit a trigger button because it popped up. Uh hi! Hello. Hi, how's it going? It's been it's been uh it's been a hot minute since I stream. But um I'm streaming now, so uh yeah, enjoy that. Let's uh We're gonna do some art today. Let me make sure the music is not too loud. Right about there? That that should do. That should do. That should be fun. Okay. Um, where do I want to start? Oh yeah, <laughs> I know where to start. <laughs> so today, because we're doing Honk Art, which is the uh, the PNG Tuber software that I use, my my little personal stream here, um, I have to have two versions up of Honk so that we can test it, and I don't have to like lose my avatar. So for today's stream, let me pull it up here. Uh, we have a friend. <laughs> we have a friend joining us today. <laughs> little guy. Little, little, uh, the devil on my shoulder is uh, is apparently a cowboy. Good to know. Uh, let me scoot him over a little bit too. Oops. They're both moving. Why are they both moving? I just want this one to move. Alright, so. This is the bit today. This is what we're doing. Um... What do I want to work on first? Because I, what I like to do uh, off stream is I get a couple sketches going, get a couple ideas going, a couple things cooking, and then when I'm ready, I was going to bring them on stream with me. Which means I have like five options. Let me see what I want to do here. Because I think I have a nice little chill like work outfit that I wanted to cook up. Because I was trying to think, you know, what would, uh, what would an artist wear and honestly couldn't really come up with anything so I just put in like a little bandana and a t-shirt. You do that one. Um, all the way from that to something like uh, a demon. <laughs> we have some options today. So let's start with the work one because I think that will be the easiest one and we can go ahead and apply that one to the current um, current avatar that I'm using because it'll be like a the theme fits the theme and then we'll move on i think probably to the vampire one because i have two vampire ones and i'll i'll save those as a little surprise but uh i don't want to play any of my vampire games until i get my vampire avatar going and i didn't want to play or i didn't want to play anything until i could do that so i had to do an art stream first <laughs> and then so I got a lot of things on the back burner. I've been putting it off a little bit, but we're here today. That's what's important. That's what matters. So, let me see. Let me adjust a little bit. Hopefully that's not loud. And then, um, let me see what we're doing here. I just, okay, I just put this over top. Simple enough. All right, let's just go. We'll do a nice clean line art here. Um, over the bandana. Let me turn the fan off too. And then, um, we'll just color it in, I think. Simple enough. This one's, this one's much more straightforward. The other ones get a little bit more complicated. Yes, Anna? Did you want to come say hi? Yeah? Yeah? You want to call them a bunch of babies? Bunch of, bunch of babies. Bunch of wussies showing up in her turf. Yeah. Okay. Did you? Did you? <laughs> what do you want, sweetie? Do you want to snuggle? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Okay. Come here. There you go. Okay. Hang on one second. Let me get in snuggling rain. There you go. Okay, Anna has a seat now. Lay down. There you go. 
Let's see if I can still access my uh, shortcuts. All right. <laughs> uh, where's my pin? Here it is. Oh, you leaving already? Real quick. All right, let's get cooking. Pull out my keyboard tray again. Okay. I'm muted for your convenience. Hi. Can I help you? You're very cute. Keep up the good work. Okay. Now let's get started. Uh, I don't know how long I'm going to stream tonight. Just however long. We'll do a ruler here. Maybe, maybe, a, uh, maybe an hour. I don't know. Sometimes with the streams, especially with art streams, I just get rolling. And I'm like, I'm still feeling it and I don't... Whenever you feel like working, you should probably go ahead and work because it's probably not going to happen all that often, you know? I want to do like a... I could do like a... Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe? Maybe, 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 maybe. Not to like, I guess, you know, now that I'm, I don't want to overthink it. So like, I'll probably, the shadows will do me more, will give me more wiggle room. Yeah, 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 yeah. I should just rely on the shadows on this one. Bring it down just a little bit. Maybe I could, maybe, let me see how to do this shape. How do I want to do this? Let me also... Let me get some reference. Hang on. Uh, you were supposed to- G-Force. You were supposed to close. Why are you still open? What's going on with that? Like, I closed you. Let me go close that, like... Take the shot. <laughs> there we go. Hopefully that goes away now. Uh oh, it's not going away. Okay, well, I'll worry about that later. Uh, reference, that's what I was doing. Hang on. Uh, I want a... There we go. Okay. That's a, that's a, that's, that's a decent picture. I can, I can work with this. Let me go back again. We'll, we'll start the other direction. Okay. This person's bandana goes like, curves down like this, and then it goes across. I don't know if I like that for this purpose. Yeah, I don't like that for this purpose. We're just gonna do a stylized thing instead. Like, uh, like the the Pokemon, Pokemon bandanas are kind of like this, I think, if I remember correctly. Well, God damn it! I thought this was gonna be the easy one. <laughs> Shows me. Cause like, that's kind of how it looks on the person. Of course it goes out a little bit more than that. Okay, I'm overthinking it. We're just gonna, we're just gonna go with the design here. Way overthinking it. Yeah, that's fine. This is fine. It'll be cute. I'll add the, I'll add the, the shadows. It'll all come together. Let's make sure this is sufficiently Thick enough around the head creates a nice effect. I'm still working on on doing art with like clothing and stuff. That is one thing that I like to. Um, 
have to remind myself of is make sure the clothes is thick. I want it to have, have meat to it on the edge of the, the form, you know? Meat is probably not the word that I want, but I'm going with it. Sticking with it. Alright, um... Yeah, okay. I wanted to, okay, let me... Bear with me here. You know how line art can be. Let's try a, let's try a, a flatter, flatter line. Maybe I should like. <sighs> okay, hang on, I got an idea. I mentioned this before, but I like to take the window. Uh, if you go into, if you're using clip and you go into up at the top window, um, canvas new window, you can, um, pop it out and I'll put it on my main monitor so I can see it and that way I'm not sitting here fucking five inches away from my art can't see anything of what I'm doing you know actually not what I'm looking at <laughs> cause like I could bring it down lower too that is an option I don't mm, no. Nope. Stylized. Keep it. Keep it cute. Keep it simple. Not quite. We're getting there, though. We're gonna get there. Together. Do I want... I like that one, but do I want to have, like, a... A dip? You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it in two lines. When all else fails. Yeah, okay, I can live with this. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. I can work I can work with this. Bring it down a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. And we'll clean the line up here. Oh line art. Why are you like this? We'll go with that. And then we want the little... Let's do... Okay, that'll work. Um, and what we'll probably end up doing, because I have to... Um, I've talked about it a bit before, but Honk works in layers. So yeah, I'll just put those back, actually. Honk works in layers, so you have to be mindful of, of which layers go where, right? So what I'll end up probably doing here is putting these these little back pieces on the back layer in a separate, in their own layer, which means I'll have to put them, um, make them bigger than, than the model itself so they can move around. And it could be a, it, it would have a nice effect. You'll, you'll have to trust me for a minute, <laughs> but we'll get there, I promise. That look how I want it to look. Not quite. Let me try once more on the upper one here. Cause I liked in the sketch, yeah, they had a little bit of a pointy to them. I like that. Alright, the t-shirt should be simple enough. Let me um I go down here, I can hide. There's a billion layers, don't worry about that. I can hide <laughs> the uh, the tank top, and then we can work on top of this. I'm just gonna put it on top. Uh, it will end up being its own base, is the way it works, is I have them set to two bases. Um, is, that, is that what I want? Mm, I'll probably scoot it down, but I think it's fine as is. Okay. And then bring it down a little bit lower. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we'll just delete one of these. Sure. Okay. So let's do the hide those layers. 
Let's grab what we can grab here when referring to only this one layer. And we're gonna expand a little bit and then we're gonna pick, I guess, like a, a slightly colored white, maybe like a blue white, bluish white, maybe. Oh yeah, I gotta put that on the bottom layer here. Oops. Mm hmm. It's kind of cute, but I think we could do better. I think, I think. Let me also put the back layer on so I can see if there's any holes. Beautiful. I think we can do better. Um, I mean, I, I usually use dark colors anyway, so maybe I'll just swap over to a dark color instead. Uh, let's see. What's been going on lately? To chat about. Um, Nintendo Direct was was it last week? Nintendo Direct. Uh, it was a mini direct. Uh, nothing too fancy. Nothing too exciting. Like we still don't have any um, Breath of the Wild two news yet, or anything else. But it's fine. Uh, it was fine. I watched it. I watched it live. I woke up for that. As, as if my current <laughs> time awake is not evidence enough of my uh, backward sleep schedule. Um, I ended up getting up for that. That's that's how dedicated I am. And uh, it was fine. Uh, I'm trying to think if there was anything. There was a new... The only thing that really pertained to me was that there was a new Story of Seasons um, Doraemon game announced. Which is like... I probably won't play it, but I do love to see that franchise keep cranking them out. Um, let's try it like a, what would like a dark black grayish maybe. I mean, I can make the shirt black, but the 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 headkerchief kind of loses its aesthetic if you make it. I feel like if you make it um, too dark, it needs to be a light color. What do we got here? What's our options? Oh yeah, I do need to keep in mind too that my honk uses green screen, so I can't go too green probably. So that leaves for blues. Blues are allowed. Reds and pinks. And purples are all fine. Greens are no. And then anything yellow is in probably a no. Anything adjacent to that. In fact, yeah, yellow is a no because I did the Mario avatar, I think, had yellow in it. And I had to go back to the drawing board on that one. Uh, was, was there anything else in the Nintendo Direct? There was uh, Monster Hunter Rise got some free DLC. I liked Monster Hunter World, but I haven't played Rise yet. I hear pretty solid things, but I just haven't picked it up yet. Um, I would only play that one with my friends, and my friends aren't playing it yet, so. <laughs> Whenever that happens, I'll get back to it. Let's go with this. Let's see if I like the idea of having the shirt darker. Oops, wrong button. Um, Do we want it to match? Kind of. I could put something on the shirt, I guess. Like a frog or something. I hadn't considered. I hadn't didn't think I'd get this far. Um. Oh yeah, can't use green. We're using we're making it a red frog. <laughs> As you do. Um Okay, what if I just like yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Kind of cute. And the eye is gonna be kind of fucked up because it's in the it's in the crevice. I'll put that on a separate layer just to be safe. I don't want to have to go back and clean it up if I uh, change my mind. Um, 
make the eye a little fucked up. Oh, I want to fuck that eye up. Because it goes down, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, I can dig it. Let me um, clean it up just a little bit, though. Um, I don't know, I was trying to think, I guess for a mini direct, there's plenty that could have been there, I guess, like, um, I was just, I was just, uh, I haven't done it yet, but I got that, I got the Chibi Robo stream queued up, it's ready to go, I've got all the art ready and everything, um, so seeing Chibi Robo, or, uh, I was even talking about, I started playing, um, Nintendo Dogs and Cats, the 3D version, the 3DS version of Nintendo Dogs, um, like last week, I want to say. Uh, well, maybe even this week. It was not that long ago, and I was talking to um, Alex about it. Hi, Alex. And um, and how they just haven't done anything with that franchise. I know people talk about it all the time because it's like it's the perfect franchise to to put on the like a phone. Phone game, a switch, something. Would you please? But um, I haven't done it yet. So okay, whatever, man. I guess I could just here. I'll just opacity instead. Um. <laughs> you're just gonna have to take my word that that's a frog. That's part of the bit. You just have to take my word. <laughs> it's my way of the highway here. Um. Actually, let me, um, just because it's difficult on the eyes. It's a, little, it's a little straining. Put that there. Uh, is there anything I want to add to the frog? I could add, like, some, like... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's, this feels good. That feels good. Three or just two? Just two. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. I'm here for this. And then we want to do like maybe a. <laughs> you can just barely see his expression. Do frogs? Frogs? Yeah, frogs' noses. Every animal's nose. I've been doing. I've been doing animal art recently. Every animal's nose goes differently. You just have to guess, or, or look it up, nerd, I guess. You could look it up, but... No, you know what? No. None of that. Um, let's put a little eye... Shimmer. It's a little one. That's good. That's good. I like this. I want to rotate it maybe a little bit. Just a, just a smidge, just a hair, and I'll bump, bump them down so the, the crease still makes sense. Looks kind of crooked. Makes the shirt look like it's on crooked. How does that look? Let me look on the other monitor. <laughs> I'm gonna undo it so I can see it in the... Oh, he's wonky looking! Yeah! He looks wonky. <laughs> That's a bad thing, but it's also a good thing. Let me um, let me shear that shit up real quick. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this bit of the. You see the hint of an expression, sure. Um, I wonder if- I, it would be probably too difficult to put, like, paint splotches on the clothes, you know what I mean? Let me- let me look up what that looks like. I mean, it would just look like splatters. There's a- you know what, I'll try- I'll- I'll test. 
because there is a droplet <laughs> um, spray. So we'll give it a shot. I probably won't commit to it. Actually, kind of digging it. Looks like blood spots so far, but there's going to be more colors, so. Let's get some... I can't use greens, so let's get some blues. Paint clothes. Paint clothes, baby! Everybody has paint clothes. My paint clothes are... Shirts I got back in the day when I did volunteer work in high school. <laughs> Those are my paint clothes. And I will use them until I cannot use them any longer. Um, but the the vital question is, do you paint in jeans? Like if you like have to paint a wall, do you paint in jeans? Because I say no, personally. Oh wait, is that yellow gonna mess up on the green screen? It probably is. Let's make it a different color. Uh, there it is, it's on this layer. Let's go over here. We'll make it just, um, I don't know, maybe maybe just an orange. A little more. Yeah, sure. That's fine. That's cute. Sufficient. Um, maybe some purple. Some purple splotchies. Sure. Let's do that. Some nice paint clothes. Because it, I forgot that the cowboy's behind me, lurking menacingly. <laughs> Come back to that. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't like it there. Oops. I make it on the. It kind of. Hmm. Hmm. So I want it to overlap over the frog. It looks like he's got little freckles or something. That's cute. That's fine. Okay. If I... I'm gonna make this color a little bit, little bit different. Just a touch. Just a hair. Brighten it up just a smidge. Okay. That's 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 alright. Let's put the shadow on. Let's do that bit. I'm gonna have to separate these little guys in the back here. I'm gonna go ahead and do that before I start doing any more work. Just keep it simple. You and you. Okay, so let's do this one at a time. There we go. And that's just the sketch, so we're going to delete him. Uh, I might consolidate some of these layers here in a second, but that's fine for now. That'll do. Alright, so let's grab our dark blue for the shadow. Uh, Pin, you want to wake up? There we go. You want to get a nice dark blue. Generally, you don't want to make shadows just black. Uh, you can do purples. I mean, you can do anything you want, but <laughs> the beauty of art. But um, nice blue can give it just the right color that you're looking for. And then I'll just scroll through on my, yeah, we'll do soft light. That's, that's it's cute. Let's make that a little bit more pointy. Zoom in here, a little more precise. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of nice. It's got a nice depth to it. Let's just grab it. The old switcheroo over here. And put it over here. Beautiful. I'm gonna name those so I can find them later. And we'll put them in a, you know, we'll put them in a, their own little folder. Look at you. You grow up so fast. Um back bandana bit sure I'll know what it means probably <laughs> probably 
but let me um I want to consolidate these two and we're gonna copy this layer where is my there it is um, and what we're gonna do so we're just gonna copy it down so I don't have to do the layer nonsense again and then we're gonna draw on I still have the color selected so way fixed all right get it nice 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 snug little shadow in there cute make that a little bit more scoot that over just a smidge just a hair a little bit more there we go um where else would a shadow be i guess that's pretty much it so I guess I'll just copy this shadow over then, because that's the he. <laughs> that is the perfect shape right there. So let's just copy it right on over. Cute. Now do I want paint on the hat as well? Um, oh, one thing I cannot forget to do. When you copy and paste, oops. Oh, well, it already did it. Never mind. The opacity is set to 100%. So. Oops. Whatever, I'll just redo it if it's a problem. It's like 90% of the time not a problem. It's just a preventative measure in case I want to change anything. Okay. Uh, mm, mm. I can dig the... I can do some, like, splatteries. Some small... Add a couple more of these bad boys. Um, let's make particle size, I don't know, 50? Let's try 50. Okay, I'll put some with the other bits too. Don't want them to feel too lonely. A little, a little, I get like a nice little spray. Not too much. That's good. I like that well enough. And we'll leave the, because there's always going to be some spots on your shirt, on your paint shirt that's like suspiciously clear. So we'll leave that little bit over there. Nice and clean. Don't, I got an idea. I'm just gonna, nice, nice healthy spread there and then we're gonna go through, because it doesn't make sense if the closest part to the head, that's a whole different part of the bandana. We'll just clean it up. This is clean and clear. Add some more little splotches here. Clean that up in the back. And then what do we have? We have red, yeah, red. Spray brush again. All right. Let me put this one on a different layer so I can separate the blue here. I'll go higher particle size and get a nice big. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. I can dig that. We love happy little accidents. Okay. Yeah. And I'm thinking more blue in the back there. A nice big blue splotch. Really tie it together. Yeah. Alright. Um, do I want to add any more? Yes. I do. Let's do... We'll bring the particle size down again. And do maybe some blue on the left here. It's a little, it's a little. I'll get rid of that. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything else at uh, the Nint Nintendo Direct that really caught me. I know there's some things there for um, uh, the uh, uh, Fire Emblem nerds. There's some things there for um, 
Did Splatoon even show up? Surely Splatoon showed up, right? I don't remember. I kind of... I, I played Splatoon. And I like Splatoon. But I I couldn't get past the um, the matchmaker. That really, that really made it difficult for me to enjoy. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Get out of here. Um, let's do a little more purple instead. Let's do some, some purple. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm liking that. I'm digging that. One more at the bottom to kind of round it out. Too much, too much. Make the particle size a little bit bigger. Oh, a nice thick one right there. That's not thick enough. Too thick. <laughs> oh. Um. And I love Animal Crossing, but boy howdy would I have loved uh, maybe a couple more updates. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been real nice. Um, comparing that game, because my favorite Animal Crossing game, I'm bouncing around on topics here, but my favorite Animal Crossing game was uh, New Leaf on the 3DS. It was so good. Uh, and there was there was a ton to do. And like, ooh, actually I liked that one. Can I get that one again? Yeah, all right, it can stay. I'll clean up some of these because I got a, a few too many down here, but that one can stay. We'll also drag this boy down. Uh, yeah, so New Leaf had so much content in it and, and all of the animals, or a lot of the animals felt like they had personalities and things, which was a lot of fun. Oh yeah, the little, like, um, where are my boys? There they are. Put some paint splotches on the boys in the back too. Um, and and I am so tired of talking to uh, animals on my, my island in New Horizons and all of the lazy villagers talking about bugs in the floor. Like that's, <laughs> that's it, that's all they talk about to me. I want, I want them to bully me. I want them to call me a nerd. And to, 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 uh, what's that, what's that, uh, that Twitter page? It's like, uh, rare insults. I want that from my villagers, you know? Felicity should be roasting me at every opportunity. And I think she would, like, like in real life, she would, you know? So a couple of, couple of updates would have been nice. Uh, to bring us, uh, it, it is like one of the top most selling Nintendo games on the Switch. Or of all time, maybe? It's like in the top five, I think. And I mean, you know, post-COVID sales, people like, that was their like, getaway. <laughs> so it was a huge success. So, you know, like, come on Nintendo. I know I've heard um, the same team that works on the Animal Crossing stuff. Oh, let me um, let me think about this for a second. Okay, I need to hide this, and we need to separate the shirt from the hat. Um, the team that works on Splatoon is supposed to be the same team that works on Nintendo. All right, pff, Animal Crossing. And, um... Okay, put that in here. And so I can understand why they would be really busy right now. But come on, Nintendo, you got, you got, you got a good chunk of money, right? I'd buy more DLC. I know, like, I can't expect free updates forever. But, I mean, you know, show it a little love. Or at least once things things quiet down. That's what they did. I mean, New Leaf, it was, it was, God, when did that update, that update come out? That update came out 
what was it like six years after the game launched new leaf got the the uh, rv update i don't remember what it was called but i mean they could do it you could you could do it nintendo i'm just saying you know anyway um i don't think anything else really happened that the nintendo direct that i remember it's been Feels like a week uh, is a lifetime now, I guess. Uh, what's going on there? What are you doing down here? What's this? What is this for? <laughs> Wait. Let me unpin it. What are you for? What are you even doing here? Oh, that's the line. Okay. I remember. That's, that's the line. Yeah. It's so the, the the line on the shirt is not too strong. Oh yeah, we need to do shadows on the shirt. Cannot forget that. Let's grab our shadow layer. Where are you? There you are. And we're also going to is the shirt. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna turn that to a normal layer. Oops, wait, no we're not. We're gonna go back into the bandana, turn that into a normal layer, grab the color that we want, undo, soft light, okay, go back down. All right, now we'll cook them with gas. Every time I like take my hands and use the mouse, the pin goes to sleep, stop that. Rude, I'm doing something here. I don't want it to look like a, like an armpit stain, but I do want a little bit of a shadow there. Just a smidge. Just a little bit. Yeah, that's good. And then we want one under our little friend frog here. That is a sharp, dark shadow. I'm gonna have to figure out something else for that. Soft light ain't gonna cut it for you. But I'll come back. Actually, I kinda like it, Never mind. <laughs> Just like that. That's all it takes. Uh, what else? Oh, uh, let me pull up the the boy. Where are you? Yes, I'm the. There you are. There you are. Okay. Is there anything that needs a shadow? This little bit back here. I mean, I can. I don't think I did that for any. I did for the the cowboy though. Behind me. There's a little shadow on the shoulder bit. Do I want to do that? It adds a little bit of depth. I think I'll do it. A little bit of depth to it. A little bit more. I got a big head. I'll make it nice and round. We're gonna flip the canvas here in a second too to make sure everything looks nice and buttery smooth. That's not quite right. Um, I've been trying, this is a different topic. I've been trying to get uh, an idea I had for a stream working with The Sims, because I am not, the biggest fan of just playing um, The Sims normally. Uh, I usually like to have like a challenge or something weird, some kind of weird experiment going. Um, see what I can get away with. Okay, uh, let's make that smaller. That's too big, too too much. Um. So I've been trying to figure out how to do that with the Sims, the different Sims. I've been trying with a bunch of different ones. So like, um, I tried it primarily with Sims 3 first, because that is my favorite one. And, um, but not for the life of me. Get what I wanted, which was like, I was thinking about doing like a, like a free will, like a, like a ultra free will mod. And then just, because I need, I need a game to play while I talk about media that I consume, because I consume media and I want to rant about it. Like I just finished reading this um, 
Regency romance novel, which is like a period piece romance novel, right? And I hated it. And I want to <laughs> explain why I hate it. Damn it. But um, I feel like I need like a game to do that with. And uh, I don't have one. Let me check colors on a different monitor. A little bit bright, but I'm kind of digging it. So we'll go with it and I can just change it in the future if I don't like it anymore. All right. Um, so I was thinking about doing a, yeah, the, the autonomy, autonomy mod for, actually we need you back. I need you. Um, where's the hat? We're gonna put the hat up here because it's confusing and I would prefer to have it above the shirt. Your hat? No, your shirt. Where did the hat go? Get out of there. Ding that. Okay. Um, yes. Let me focus on Honk for two seconds here. So because you have layers, I have to export. We're gonna chop. Yeah, chill work. That's fine. I'm just gonna export everything to my desktop. Oops, wait. I gotta get rid of the background. Okay. Shield your eyes. <laughs> um, uh, but chill work, yes. Did my music stop? There we go. Fixed it. Um, so we have the, the avatar. We're gonna hide that now. And then we're gonna put the back piece of the bandana is going to be separate from the bandana itself and you will see why in a moment uh, bandana what would you even call that i should probably make those while i'm looking at it here let me make these um let me make these uh these boys not so visible we'll just do oh, oh, opacity we'll do it opacity Old fashioned way here. Can I actually? I'm overthinking it, but maybe it will be worth the bit. Okay. Um, yeah, so you have. So I'm gonna put these in the back so they can fly freely. What should I call these things though? Um, back fringe, dude. I don't know. Um, desktop bandana. I'll just put back bandana. That's fine. That'll do. Um, and then we need to do export the hat on a separate file. Here, nice little PNG. She'll work bandana, that's what we're gonna call it. And then I'll bring the boy back so you have something to look at while I work in the folders. Okay. And we'll also save. Save early, save often. Okay. Uh, let me close out my reference. I don't need that anymore. Alright, cowboy. <laughs> So Honk is neat. I like Honk a lot, and they're still updating it uh, pretty frequently, which we love to see. Um, what am I doing? Stream assets. Yeah, here we go. Honk. <laughs> character. So we're going to make a new character. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the emotes, one that's already there, and we're going to rename it. Because this is easier, I already get it mostly set up, and I can just drag and drop. Chill, uh, we'll call it work art, maybe? Artwork one, sure. I'll just call it art, that's fine. Art one, and then we're gonna rename Mario here so that he does not pop up first. And we're gonna go in and drag and drop what we just exported, so. We wanna take what I have, which is chill body. We're gonna rename chill work to chill base so we can re replace that file. And it should, everything, if everything goes to plan, it should just replace it. 
Um, so cowboy, the hat, the cowboy hat should turn into the bandana. But we'll have to add the back part separate. Where did it go? Down here somewhere. Did I already move it over? Yeah, no, here it is. Okay. I'll have to put that in separate and just add it separate just because I don't have anything that's equivalent. But everything else should be good, I think. Alright, let's test it. I gotta close out a honk here. Mini honk, that is. I'm still gonna be here. <laughs> oh, there's two of me! Oh, jeez. Alright, we're gonna open it again. I don't know how OBS is gonna handle this, but we'll find out. It's me and little me. <laughs> I'm gonna drink some water. Hydrate! Paul, this takes a billion years to load. Let's see. What else is Oh yeah, Sims. Um, all of the mods that I tried with Sims uh, didn't do what I wanted it, wanted them to do. There were some cool mods in there, Ugh. in there, but they didn't give me the free will that I wanted. I wanted to just basically drop a bunch of characters into a big fucking house or a big city or whatever, and then you just let them go ham and see what they do. That's what I wanted, you know. But Apparently that's too difficult, and that's fair, because modding is complicated. <laughs> Still. Um, I was gonna test, because I do really want to get this to work. I think it's a pretty fun idea. There's my baby boy. But oh, the mouth is fucked up. Oh, I know why. Oops. Um, we'll fix that, but first I want to fix the other bit, which is... I want to add. Here's all the here's all the individual bits. I want to add this boy. Oh, the hat's up high. Do you see that? Oh shit! You know why? It's because the cowboy hat is offset. That's an easy fix. We can fix that. Hi, Anna. Yes, ma'am. Hello. What do you need, sweetie? You just knocked over a cup. Would you not do that, please? Thank you. All right, go back to your chair. Is it? <laughs> oh, sorry. Apparently, it's time to riot. Really? Are you sure? Let's see if I still have. Do I still have the Anna that can I can put on screen? Oh no, it's messed up. But I can, I can do it. Here she is. <laughs> I got a flipper. What, baby? Do you want to... Here. There you go. You can sit with me. But you have to... <laughs> that doesn't look comfortable. Alright. Let me flip the... Uh, let me flip the, the on-screen on the... I guess I can just scoot it down. I'll just scoot it down. There we go. Anna's here too. She's in my lap, but she's here. I want to get... I got a video of her, um... Beeping. She's 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 very chatty, as you can tell. So I got a video of her, and I wanted to take the images of her screaming, so I can okay, so I can make her own little honk avatar for her. I haven't done it yet, but I've got the video, so the pieces are there. All right, let's clean this up. <laughs> Let me scoot in too. Hang on. She had me scoot out for cuddling that she immediately left from. Uh, we don't need scarf anymore. We can just probably delete scarf. We don't need scarf for art purposes. Um, the bandana. So the way Honk works... i zoom out here. We're gonna click on the bandana and we're gonna look at cursor here. And we're gonna make it a tall oval. And then we're gonna make it... Pretty high for testing purposes. Okay, no, I want the opposite. I want it to be low. Because I want it to appear... Where did it go? I want it to appear like it's on the opposite side of my head, so let me bring it down a little bit more. Like with any of these PNG tuber, VTuber. Okay, I'll have to make it more, but that could work. I kind of like the idea of it. Yeah, I like, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Alright, we know the direction we're going in. We're gonna save that. 
and we're gonna just go right on over to emotes so we can bring our cowboy back while I uh, adjust while I edit and thankfully because honk is um, pretty drag and drop with the characters I can just when I finish this I should be able to just copy and paste it over and then we can make it the main display and we can work on something else beautiful I will I will continue continue to praise honk I like honk and it's also called honk so every time I say it it's like a nice little like little hee hee moment you know um okay so two things we need to do three things we need to do need to hide the hat. So the reason that it fucked up last time is because I didn't go all the way to the base. I exported with- oh, background. I exported with the face. So that's why there was a double facing on there. So let's export it. We'll do it correctly this time. And we'll just go garbage. And we'll replace the name when we're moving things over. But we're, we got other things to do. We got business to it didn't do. Alright. We're gonna hide that boy. We're gonna hide the shirt. Actually, we need that boy back. Come back. We'll bring the shirt back too, because it's a little uncomfortable. <laughs> it's a little weird. And we're gonna fill this in more. So, let me think how to do this. How do I wanna do this? Um, I guess what I will do. I will start the back piece. I can also make the lines, the line art. I go back and forth with my little honk avatar. As you can tell with Cowboy, I've got lines that are black and lines that are brown. So um, I'll try the light lines since it is a very light colored um, outfit. Uh, and let's do this on the vector layer. God bless vector layers. Bring that up there. Nice and smooth. Let's redo this top one too. Um, oh, okay. She moved my pop filter. Let me fix that real quick. Okay, that should be better. Um, okay, so yeah, so we wanna bring that up. We'll just, it doesn't make, perfect since not perfect but you know that's fine when it comes oops that did not copy copy oops, i need to paste duh uh, when it comes to art the main thing is that it's in my opinion for my work specifically because all art is different is i want to be able to read what the fuck i'm looking at as long as i can tell well, then that's fine by me Okay, I'm just gonna fill that in nice and clean here. It doesn't have to be perfect on the upper end. You should not see it in the avatar anyway. But we're gonna give it a little extra just uh, just in case. If it's, I you know I'll try it. All right, I'm sitting here. I'll, I'm sitting here. We'll try it. We'll try making these make sense. Maybe I'll like it. Maybe I won't. Let's find out. If they were big enough. They would go like here, right? That's what it would look like if it... Because it would have to go in the middle. But it wouldn't make complete total sense, but we'll try it. And I need to put these... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me use my brain for a second. Bring these down. So they are below the base. And see if I like it. Nah, I'm fine with them being small. I think that, that that's fine. That's a fine bit. Okay, let's add the shadow. Where are you, shadow? There you are. Grab the color and we'll bring it all the way up. And there we go. All right, and we will export that? Was there anything else I'm forgetting? We could try the, we could try the, try the color thing real quick. The color, uh, idea. Give it a shot. I'll just make it a little darker here. 
I don't even really have to, actually. That looks fine that way. Let's try it on the other bits, too. See how it looks. The shirt I will need to, though. So what I can do here, I can try, like, a... Because the shirt itself is, like, a light blue color. I can try a darker, a more color-popped blue here. It's kind of cute, maybe. Kind of feeling it. A little bit. See it? See the opacity up? There we go. Yeah. Let's see how it looks on the hat. We'll test it with the hat as well. I like those being white. Let's try it with the hat. Where's the hat? There we go. I like it, but not quite. Not quite there yet. There we go. Let's see it on the shirt. I think also what I can do to add a little bit more depth, I can just copy and paste the paint layer up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm digging it. Let's try it on the hat as well. Let's see what that looks like. I'm gonna consolidate the two paint. We have two of them. We don't need two anymore. And we're gonna put it on the liner again. Yeah, okay, I kinda like that. Let's make this, fill this in with a little bit more red here. Just so we can have, um, oops. I want, uh, where are you? There you are. There we go. Beautiful. Um, also noticing, too, that the line art will need a shadow now, so let's do the shadow bit. Where do I want to do that? Just copy-paste. Oh, did that do it for me? So I can control-click on the layer itself and it will auto-select everything on that layer, and then we're going to clean up the shadow on the line art. I don't want it up there, but I want it at the bottom. I think, right? I think I want it at the bottom. Here, what I'll do, because this is a very dark line here at the bottom, I'm just going to take the color and brighten it up a little bit. Yeah, a little more subtle. A little more like a, like a graduated shadow. I'm not going to worry about any, um, generally you want like soft shadows and dark and uh, solid shadows. With the comic style that I'm using, I'll just stick with the, the, dark, the dark shadows and, or the solid shadows and not bother that much with for this specific style. I won't bother with the, um, with the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. shadow up a little bit too. I'm noticing also on the shirt the... I want the red to be... yeah. Yeah! Alright. Alright. I'm also going to move the shirt down just a smidge. I'm going to uh, clean up this little bit here. I still is a little more. I want the shirt to look like it's on the body and not just floating. There we go. Okay. All right. Now we gotta export it again. So let's hide the hat. Hide the bandana. We're gonna export PNG desktop. Okay. And then we want to. We will need to export the hat separate. Once again, stop. Okay, and then we will export the little cloth bits. Let's stop. Back bits. Okay. All right. 
we'll pull them back up so we can look at something while we work. There we go. No face. <laughs> That's just how it is, all right? All right, Mr. Cowboy. Why are you not responding to me anymore? What's going on here? Let me save again. I think Honk has... Oh, no, wait. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> that stern eyes there for a second. That was a good bit. Okay. Uh, let me rename everything again. Replace it. We also need to go into the file. So the way the Honk works is that it has basically two two things that it reads. You dump all the images in a folder and then it reads uh, and then you import those with um, the program itself and then it has a text file that keeps track of all of the things that you do with it. So like what layer you place it on, um, whether or not you um, have a blinking animation for that thing, what if you move it around at all. Here we go. So we're gonna find cowboy hat and we're going to replace the position with the default position, and that should be fine. Should work. Let's find out if it works. I think it's ready to go. All right, boot and honk again. Now we wait. Now we wait and see. It's thinking about it. Give it a second. warm oh wait <laughs> I just realized that discord's talking about me streaming oops I didn't realize uh I didn't realize it would auto tell people that okay well hello hi how's it going um there it goes finally okay all right honk work with me here the hit okay the hat you can't see it yet, let me fix that, hang on. Oh, not you need to... <laughs> Where did, oh, there she is, okay. All right, let me select the, oops, that's not correct. We'll look at that. Um, there you go, little fella. So the hat is still, uh, it's still busted, it's still borked, but it's getting there. We're getting there. I don't want the controller. Do I have... <laughs> you can see a little preview of everything. Uh, I think I have... Monitor. There it is. Alright, we're gonna put that on the first four layers here. And we're gonna hide the controller. There we go. And we're gonna save. Why is the hat? The hat's not supposed to... Okay. Honk has this problem. It is still like an indie developed tool, so there's, it's gonna have some hiccups. But Honk has this issue where um, it just doesn't save things sometimes. So you have to do it like a dozen times before it will finally uh, figure out what it is you want it to do. Has to think about it a lot, but. Hmm. That's way too high. Do I want to move the little I almost just want to make it bigger, I think. The hat. I think I'm going to make the hat bigger and then make it its own thing. We're just going to we're going to get rid of cowboy hat entirely. It's not cowboy hat anymore. It's its own man. We're so proud. Okay. All right. So let's pull up the fringe again. <laughs> I don't know if, if anybody's ever seen, um, if anybody's ever seen, what's the name of that? The, the, the VTuber. So the, the typical VTuber or a PNG tuber is like those anime PNG tubers, right? I don't know if anybody's ever seen the, um, the software to make that stuff. 
It's incredibly impressive. I've messed around with it. It's super fun to play with. But good lord, the amount of work you have to put in. Because what I'm doing here is just a tiny glimpse of the amount of tweaking and tweaking and tweaking you will do. What is the name of that fucking... Is it... Oh, I don't remember the name of it now. I have files saved for it. Let me go... I don't know. I don't know. V something. It's, it's super cool, though. Because uh, the way it works, very, very basically, like, if you want to get a character to look from, like, left to right with that software, uh, you are kind of animating. You're rigging it, but, um, so, like, you would tell the software, you would move the, the image itself over to, like, the left, where, it, where the eyes, you'd move them over physically to the left, and then you'd tell the software, that's where you want that to be positioned when you move that way when it reads you moving that way and it just I don't know I don't know how to describe it in such a way it's so cool if I ever pull it up again I'll pull it up on stream because it's so fascinating to look at I actually have a video wait I can pull up a video I was testing when I was first trying to figure out what software I wanted to use for the little PNG tuber avatar I was testing things and I pulled up there it is it's 2d live I pulled up 2d live again and I made my little angry man. So let me, let me, which my angry man is, is uh, this one for reference. Um, so let me pull up the video because I have it saved. Is it under clips? Where are you? You're in here somewhere. I know you are angry avatar. This is it, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me get it on stream. I don't know how to <laughs> I, I don't know how to work OBS. Hang on. I can do this. Alright, we're just gonna capture. We're gonna we're gonna use this window. And make a new what is it? Okay, we're gonna make a new window capture. Give me all of like two seconds here. It'll be more than two seconds, but you you, you get the drift. A uh, video. I misspelled that. That's fine. Right, which one is it? <laughs> There's like three. Four open. Where is it? Oh, you're gonna fight me. Oop. I will get that. You're gonna fight me, aren't you? That one just has my cursors. What are you? OBS. What are you doing? What is this bit? All right, all right, all right. This ain't working. Let me try a different <laughs> for the bit. Let me see if I can just drag it onto. It's acting like it's here, but then it's not. Loop it. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Oh, I forgot. Oops. Honk disappeared. I forgot the- uh, my OBS, I don't know if it's like messed up or something, but I have to like click off of the tab and then click back on. Whatever. Here it is. I talk- <laughs> There it goes. So yeah, so you can see it. You can see it. It's very small. Let me make it a little bit bigger. I'll make it bigger than me. Now I'll bring it here below. Oh, well now you can't- What? OBS. <laughs> My man. I don't, I don't, I don't know what it's doing. Okay, there it goes. Transition. All right. Yeah, so you, yeah, you, you literally move it over and then it, it's so cool. So cool. And, and th uh, this, this software um, is for, um, what do they call that? Uh, face tracking and stuff. So, um. There's like so much more you can do with it. It's so wild. The, the depths. There's so many really good tutorials on YouTube that they've made too. So like, um, how to make like hand motions, how to get things to um, move like naturally or, or whenever you speak, they move. There's so, there's so much to it. It's so crazy in depth.
All right, one more loop and then I'm going back to what I was doing. I got distracted. Really cool piece of tech. If you're ever interested in, in working on that stuff, really neat. The only downside and, and why I prefer a honk personally, or one reason, I don't want to use a camera too, but uh, it's a subscription based. The other one, VTuber, uh, PNG, whatever it is. No, I don't remember. Uh, it's it's a it's a subscription base, and I don't I don't I ain't got the cash for that right now. So uh, honks like twelve bucks, one time purchase. I'll take that. That works for me. What was I doing? Oh yeah, we're making the hat bigger. I'm back. I remembered. Uh, which I already did that, didn't I? I think I did. Hide the back bit there. Oh, we have to hide the whole boy. And we're gonna have to name it something else. So, oh, let me go ahead and close. Since Honk is not doing its thing right now, I'll just go ahead and close it because I'm gonna have to close it again in a second. Now, did my question here, did the cowboy hat get saved in the correct position and it's just messing with me or did it just completely ignore what I wanted it to do let me look let me look let me look there is the boy I'm scrolling. I should really, uh, cowboy hat. There it was. Did it? Oh, I think I. Okay, I think I fixed it. We will see. I'll give it one more shot and then I'm getting rid of him entirely. Cowboy hat has to go. I'm gonna pull up Honk again. It's gonna take a minute to load. I'm gonna hydrate. Alright. Uh what's been going on? I'm gonna pull up. I had a I had like a a notes thing. A uh, raft. Oh, raft. My love. Raft got its big update. Its final chapter update last week the end of last week i don't know it's really good so far although 90 percent of it has been me replaying raft again which i mean i love raft so i'll play raft again that's fine uh it's me and some friends which always makes it a little better let me pull up um pull up something to look at okay there's honk hello hello little guy Let's see, let's see. Let me pull it up on stream. Here we go. Hello, fella. I just realized the hand's gone. Where's the hand? Strong hand. There you are. All right. I'm going to make them a little bit bigger. We can zoom in a little bit too. Okay. All right, the hat's fixed. Um, maybe we can. What do I want to do here? It's looking a little weird. I can't quite pinpoint why. Oh, there's also an invisible bit in the back. I see you. Okay. Maybe make the, let me try making the hat a little bit more um, responsive to my mouse movements. Which one is it? It's cowboy hat, right? Cowboy hat, there you are. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna move it up a little bit. So it's a little bit more wiggly. Or do we want less? We may want less. Cowboy hat. Oh, 
Okay. I can work with that. Uh, the t-shirt wasn't updated, but everything else looks fine, so we're gonna save it. We're gonna close out of Honk 2. We're gonna fix the shirt first. First things first. Where did, where did, where did shirt go? Did I not export new shirt? But I did. Okay, well, I'll do it again. Um, we're gonna get rid of the face. There you are. Export PNG, desktop. Save it out here. There we go. And replace. All right, so what I should be able to do is just copy that folder and go over to Honk 3.0. Oh, that's the wrong place to put it. Oops. And two characters. Oh, <laughs> let me re rename. Uh, I was testing something else out, so let me rename that so it's not the first one to pop up. Um, I think that's good. All right. Uh, honk, we'll be right back. <laughs> it should, if everything goes according to plan, it should just work. It just works! What are you looking at, Anna? Much nothing? You flipped around there real quick. Hi! Okay. Let it out of your system, sweetie. Do what you gotta do. Yes, ma'am. What's that? Menace. Hellion. Okay. Honk's back. Okay, let me, uh, let me reset the- calibrate the eyes here. Let's see. There we go. Yeah. Needs some tweaking. But, uh, all things considered. It's okay. It's fine. Um, let me adjust. I need to clean up these layers. I'll do that later. That's the boring bit. That's the no fun bit. Just a little bit more, maybe? Yeah, okay. I can live with that. I need to move. Oh, I, can, I think I can zoom in a little bit. Hang on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that was the wrong thing to do. <laughs> Hang on. Let me zoom out a little bit. I'll just move this up. That's fine. I'll just move this. This, this needs to be. There we go. There we go. Over a little bit more. Perfect. There we go. Now we got our clothes. Back in business. You can't even see my frog. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. The whole bit ruined. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, I don't know if I really have time for another one. I'll see what I got. Let me pull up everything so I can see it. There we go. Save. I'll start another one. I don't know how far I'll get, but I'll start another one because I need, I need to finish at least one Vampire one. I know I'm gonna want to play something. I could- okay. I got two options. <laughs> Three options, actually. We got... We got classic vampire look. The aesthetic. Oh, it put, pulled it up on the wrong side. There you go. <laughs> the aesthetic. As you do. Um, we've got... A Helsing model here, uh, modeled after the the the. I feel like the movie really like hammered home the hat specifically, and then every iteration since then has just had the hat because it's badass. So I gotta have the hat. And then um, 
we have a demon that I started on. Didn't finish it. It was getting there. Um... And I guess, I mean, you could, you could be like, oh yeah, that's vampire enough. You could, you could say that. Heck, I could say it. I might say it. Well, let's do, because vampire's mostly done, I just need to do line art and then clean it up. Let's, let's start on the line art for Helsing here. Because it's the least done. We can make some good progress in a short amount of time. So let's do it. I do want to pull up one of my others as an example. One of the older ones, the cowboy, because I might need that brown color. Maybe. Oh, there's a demon again. Hang on. I'll close out a demon. Vampire. Let me get my reference. Let's see, let's see. Pull up. Speaking of Helsing, Dracula Daily is chugging along. We finally got through the break. Is that- wait. Wait a second, who is that? Hugh Jackman was Helsing? I never put two and two together. <laughs> okay. Um, or one of the- there's like a billion of them. Uh, which- there he is. He's kind of got, it's kind of got more of a dip to it in the front. It's a little more menacing. So I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna borrow that. Let's see. Let's get our, oh yeah, let me pull up the, um, I need something from over here. Where is my ruler? you are. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna copy and paste it over. It's way easier than making another ruler. Uh, basically how you do symmetry in Clip Studio Paint. It's different for every program, but in Clip you have to make a ruler and it's a symmetrical ruler. You can make any number of lines you want. So like if I did that, we could do all that fun stuff. Yeah. But because we're just wanting right down the middle. Um, I did two. And then we um, we have to center it, which I have to do manually. That's why I skip over it. And just copy and basically cheat. We love to see it. So we want the hat to come up and then dip down, I think. I think that's, it's a little bit more stylized if you do it that way. A little more. need it to dip back in the back a little bit more, I think. Yeah, I can work with that, I think. Let me, let me expand the line a little bit. Maybe. We'll try it. We'll try it and see. Pull my reference again. So he has sort of the hat. How would I draw this at this angle? That's not right. Hang on, let me put it on my other monitor again, so I can look at it. There we go. That is not right. I want it up here, maybe? The problem <laughs> with the perspective here is that, like, I can see the picture of Mr. Helsing. So I know what that's supposed to look like, but my head is much, much bigger than his. <laughs> so, uh makes it a little funky. Let's make a lip on the hat, I think. I like the idea of that. We'll just bring these lines up and then squish them a little bit. There we go. Uh, the Overwatch beta is going on right now. Or the second Overwatch beta, I should say. And um, I didn't get in. <laughs> Not surprised. But um, I haven't really heard anything this time around. I mean, I've not been like on the subreddit or anything, but I look more like a pilgrim 
Okay, come on. Squish the head down, maybe. I also want this line to be extended. I have an idea. Extend it all the way out here. We have a nice clean brim. And then we're gonna just come up. And a little little handy dandy trick here is just overshoot your line and then come back and clean it up after. Actually, let's make it a little bit more. Yay yeah, or nay, yay yeah, or nay. I like that one, okay. Yeah, just overshoot it and then you can always come back. Because we're using vector layers, they're gonna be real chunky. That's fine. We can always clean it up here. It's a stylized choice. That's what we'll call it. Put it in just a little bit though. Just a little bit. There we go. And I'm just going to take that and flip it so it's nice and symmetrical. Flip. Let's line it up here where it needs to go. That might do. I'm still not too ecstatic about this line up here. Maybe, ooh, wait, hang on, that might work. I need to look at it from a, here, hang on. Maybe the, hang on, let me remove this line, maybe. Also, let me add a background so it's not as hard to look at. Not so much eye strain. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't look like the hat. Hang on. Oh, I see why. I think. Typical cowboy, it's not a cowboy hat that he has, but in typical cowboy hat fashion, we want the divot at the top for cool points style, as you see. A little bit taller too, his hat's pretty tall. Try this. I feel like the colors are really going to do me a lot of favors here. Once I color it in, it's going to look... Okay, I got to be very careful not to uh, make a weird uh, cowboy sheriff's hat. It's, it's, it's like... Ugh, hats are always like just right on the verge of looking really dinky and silly. And this hat is no exception to that rule. <laughs> Let's delete those and make it a little more slanted. Maybe, 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 might do. Uh, maybe taller, his hat is very tall, almost comically so. Somehow he pulls it off. Let's see if I can pull it off. It's probably gonna be a no, but you know, never hurts it. Never hurts to try. Um, I think what I'm seeing here, the problem I'm seeing here, is the hat. I'm going for like a dipped down hat, and I need to. Um, Let's remove these. Let's try again on that line. Oh yeah, we gotta clean up this thing too. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, line art. Here we are again. The struggle every time. Okay. It looks, it looks rough. I can always go back and redo it once I get a more solid idea of what I want to do. So I'm not gonna worry about it too much. I'm just gonna keep trucking. Once you start, you get you get you get in there with the details, you know. And it and it and it 
holds me up at least. I sit there with details way too long. Speaking of details, let me just, uh, okay. I'm going with that. I'll come back to it. We're going to do other bits because the, the um, other bits are cool and I want to do them. Uh, okay. We'll just, we'll just hide that line. Oh, this is, um, okay. We're, we're going to do two layers. This one has the symmetrical bit on it, the ruler. And then we'll do a second layer for when we're ready for the non-symmetrical stuff. Make it look a little, little bit chewed up, little tattered. Shouldn't be, shouldn't be too clean, you know? Nice and thick. Um, okay, this can do. to be that chunky. Not right there. Right here maybe? I'm gonna have to go off script a little bit. So leather is a really chunky texture. And it has lots of nice thick folds in it. So we're gonna look we're gonna, we're gonna clean this up a little bit and we're gonna make it real thick. Might do it. Let me do a smaller. Um, there we go. All the way across. And then all the way. Let me do that again. Okay, I can work with that. Let's just grabby. Let's get a little grabby hands in there and squish it up a little bit. Not so pronounced. Okay, there we go. I know you can't always see what I'm seeing on the second monitor and all that, but trust me, trust me, and we'll get through this. I promise. So I'm just gonna fill those in with shadows. I'm not gonna. Is that all of the symmetrical bits? I think it is. All right. I'll need um thicken up my brush here. Yeah. Nice, nice. Do I want to do... Do I want to capture this with a line or do I want... I'll just do a line for now. I can always go back and uh, replace it with something else. Let me look without the... Alright, I can work with that. Okay. Alright, let's also make this a little bit so it's not as in the way. So in the Van Helsing jacket that I've taken inspiration from, it's got these like belt buckles. I don't know how... I don't know how much I want to <laughs> get in on the details of that. That is a... Um slippery slope so we'll just do like a little little hangy bits it'll be implied it's the implication you see okay there we go and then they have some on the cut top cuff so we're just gonna Put them in a little bit further over. Maybe like that. Maybe. Maybe. Getting closer. We're gonna get there someday, champ. Uh, no. Uh, uh, you gotta get the right shape here. It's a weird, it's a weird angle. What if I just here? I got an idea. Can I squish this and save it? Is this salvageable? Mm. 
Okay. Put one up there. I'll just move this one up too. Okay, come on. Don't get the little green grabbies. There we go. Oh, yeah, they need to be a little more spaced out anyway. Okay, there we go. Scoot that up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I can work with that. That that'll do. Let's go on over here. I'll just leave the line off. I think the line is what's messing with me the most. There we go. Let's get this one up a little bit too. A little more. Twist this one around. Okay. Alright. What did I say about the devil and the details? <laughs> okay. Put the little buckle here. Make it more square. No roundy for me. And we'll delete that little bit. God bless vector layers. Oh, I gotta get that part too. There we go. Now every time... That'll do. I, it doesn't need to be realistic. I was gonna say every time I forget how to do uh, buckles. But, um... Just do it, you know, as, as you do. Uh, I can just delete those two bits and then select the middle. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Come on, get that, get that little middle bit there. He's hiding behind me. Manually do this. Bring that up. Yeah, nice juicy buckle. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. Don't overthink it, me. I'm 100% overthinking it, and I need to stop. Okay, next part. The crossbow. Let me look up a reference for the crossbow. There's a couple of different designs. I don't know if any of these... I've never... I still need to finish Dracula, the book. Um, if it's not something... Uh, if you're interested, there is a... Newsletter going on right now, I guess, is what you describe it as. Uh, where you can subscribe and they will send you... Um, sections of Dracula, and since Dracula is written in a journal format, they will send you the date that the journal was written. <laughs> so, like, we just got back to, um, there was a long hiatus for like a month uh, of journal entries, and they just got back to, um, some entries, and I'm looking at this crossbow. And so now it's a great time to go read Dracula if you haven't, I guess. I still haven't. I'm a huge vampire nerd, and I haven't, so... No time like the present. There's like a... There's like a ram on the end of this crossbow. This does not look... very functional. <laughs> I have my doubts. I mean, it looks cool, which is the point, I guess. I can dig that. I respect it. Is it playing through my... Okay, good. Make sure it wasn't playing uh, random songs. I could get uh, the, the DNCA for. Uh, crossbow. There we go. He's holding it for us uh, just exactly in the way that I need him to. Perfect. Alright, alright, alright. So 
So because the crossbow is on my back, what I'm going to do, and I'm done with the line art in the back, right? I think, there we go. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw it directly and we're gonna finish all the way across. And then when we're ready, I'm just gonna tilt it to the side. I think that would be much easier. And get a nice, get the wrist going on this one. Come on, you can do a wrist. There we go. I can work with that one. All right. Um, I think I want it to be not quite as long though. So let's take the old. Oops, uh oh. <laughs> that was a bad idea. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Salvageable. There we go. Okay. And his crossbow has like a hooking mechanism. I mean, I could go for a one-on-one -on -one, or a one-to-one -one interpretation, or I could just use my imagination a little bit too. I think I'll, I think I'll do a little bit of a uh, little bit of both. Okay. Got that metal plate coming up here. Is that you, Anna? What was that noise? Oh, you're asleep. Must have been a dog outside. Can I get a smooth line? I think my wrist is revolting. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I can work with that one. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna use some creative liberties here because like, I'm pretty sure 90% of this you're not gonna be able to see anyway, so. We're just gonna. Um, I'm gonna forgo the, the ram head. Hi, Beeper. Oh, you're very cute. Keep up the good work. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna forgo the ram head because that is a very specific aesthetic choice and I don't wanna just steal everything about the design. I'm gonna use a little, a little creative freedom here. It won't be cooler, I'm sure, but that's okay. It's just for like one bit, honestly. Let's make a little depth to that. I want it to be a little thicker. I should have kept the line though and just moved it. It was a nice line. Rest in peace, line. You will be forgotten. Um, okay. Creative liberty time. It does bow out like that normally. And you're not gonna be able to see it, so we're not gonna worry about anything else. Okay. There are seam. Let me take that, fix that line a little bit. It needs to be drawn down a little bit more. It's getting a little hard to see, so let me get that stuff. Actually, oh oops. Let me put this on a different layer. <laughs> That was my mistake. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna paste it onto a different layer and then we're gonna yeah. make the opacity real dim so I can figure out what I'm looking at here. Grabby. All of that. Oh, right there. There we go. Alright. Uh, these lines here. Grab those. And there we go. All right, is that all of it? Looks like it, all right. We're gonna just... Wait, what? Oh, that's still awake, okay. There we go, as long as we have the, the avatar in the background, I can tell what we're doing and what size we need to be, okay. All right. Um, there we go. Okay, let's see what we got. We need the, the string. Probably some like specific word for that, isn't there? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I 
I'm gonna just use here. I'm just gonna use a. Too strong. There. That looks good to me. We got these cool. I do want to take the cool hooks. There's these cool, like, um, thick hooks at the end here, like this. If I can make a circle, can I please? You know what? That's it. <laughs> We're making a circle the easy way. I make it a little bit smaller. Move it down. Move it right into position here. I think it goes right about here. Put it right in the spot there. And we're gonna make this line a bit shorter. Because it connects to it's got this like hang on. Is my okay good. Um My okay, good. I'm making sure my my music um, player on stream was working. Looks like it is. Uh, and, oh, I didn't know it. Hang on. The symmetry ruler does not erase with me. Oops. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Let's just make another line then. What's up in the back of that thing? I should be good. Just reminded me, I gotta, I gotta watch more Buffy too. I've never watched Buffy, and I feel like, I feel like I would get shit for that for some reason. I don't know if that's true or not, but I've never seen all of it, and I did start it, so I might as well finish it. I don't even remember what streaming service it was on now, though. It's been long enough. It's ejected from my brain. Uh, there we go. Okay, come on, Loop D, you can do it. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. That's good. Let's delete that little bit there. Uh. Rune Factory 5. I don't know. I don't think I talked about that because that just happened not too long ago. I was looking forward to it, I think, last time I was streaming. Um, because it was it was teased. It was on Steam DB, but Rune Factory 5 finally got its announcement. And it's coming to Steam, baby. Uh, this month, I think. I think so. I think it's this month. And I am on the fence about that one. Whether or not I'll get it. Because while I think it is probably pretty good, um, man, all of those games, as much as I love them, are pretty disappointing. Uh, and I, I, I hear, I'm pretty sure I talked about this before, but I'm gonna do it again because it's important. All of those, or uh, every time I hear anybody talk about Rune Factory 4, it's heralded as like a masterpiece of the genre. It's everybody's fucking favorite version of Rune Factory. Uh, even my cousin, who is not chronically online, was saying it too, so it's like, oh, okay, maybe there's some merit to this. Um, but, that's not right. But there's something about it. I don't usually have that that problem where um like like simpler art styles or I like I love I love going back. One of my favorite story of season games is uh, the 3DS Trio of Towns one. That's that's a really good one. But something about that Rune Factory 4 art just really is off-putting to me. And it makes it difficult. Someday they all get over it. And just bite the bullet and play it. Maybe even on stream. I don't know. I feel like those games are really boring to watch, so I'd have to do literally anything else while I do it too. But let's get rid of these lines. I don't. Those are too thick. 
I'm, 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 I'm just realizing I'm in here in the details again. Am I gonna, oop, 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 wrong layer. Keeps switching me down to the layer behind it. There we go. I'm gonna do a small line for up that bit. I know I said, <laughs> I know I said that the details are where I get messed up. And I start sitting here and doing detail work. However, when it comes to a crossbow, or a weapon. I would think that that is an acceptable time to spend a long ass amount of time on detail work. Because the cooler it looks, it's just the better. It's just the better overall. Like there's no lose in that situation. Make it like that. This is on the right layer. Yeah, okay. It's just a small line, so it's kind of fucking with me on the other monitor. I guess I could... You know what? I'll do a curved line instead. Put the... Okay, that's the line I want. I want it to be smaller. I don't think there's any other game, game announcements that I've... Uh... Really? Anything off the top of my head? Uh, let's see if I can mirror this up without. There we go. Oops. Okay. The line's a little thicker, but I can fix that. One of the other fantastic things about vector layers. Just cut those, put them on their own layer, and if you hit this button here, we go to adjust line width, we can just make that smaller. Just like that. There we go. Line it up. Alright. Um I'm gonna make a few more lines just to finish the idea. Oops. He's putting me on the wrong way. There. Uh, let's do a few more lines. Actually, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Use our pen again. I haven't heard anything about Delta Rune. I hear the song in the background. <laughs> I haven't heard any news about Delta Rune in a while. Is understandable or the new um, uh, the concerned ape game that he's working on I did see him talk about it a little bit the chocolatier one uh, I most certainly will play it but let's, let's, let's change this line up hang on we'll just flip it once I get it how I want it oops oops one more time. There we go. Um, I haven't heard them talk about it in a little bit. I saw one tweet about something about um, somebody had a question about like reoccurring characters or characters from the other game showing up. I think, and he was like, "Nah, that's not exactly what he said. I don't remember exactly what he said, but basically, like, nah. Uh, same universe." But, oh, there we go. But different setting. So, don't hold your breath. But <laughs> I think that's what he said. I may be uh, misremembering somewhat. Um, there's plating. I just did, I just now realized I've been doing a project for a family member. And I just did a bow for them today. And here I am doing another kind of bow. This is a curse. This must be a curse. Truly. Alright. 
think I'm going with that. Looks like the bolt itself uh, is in the mechanism. I'm trying to find a picture with the bolt. I think it's like hidden inside the mechanism. So I'm just gonna call it good there. Um, and let's do our old spinny here. Get on the back of the character here. Let's see what we see what we got so far. Um, let's my favorite part. Let's see. Let's see. Grab a color. We'll change it later. There we go. Uh, I can fix this. Which one? Those are both hidden. Is it this one? Okay. This one. Let's get the black here. Finish the line so we can easily just grab. Oh, the. I'll just do both sides. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not even gonna bother with the symmetry ruler. It's already twisted. It's doing its own thing. There we go. Okay. I should just be able to magic select. I'm gonna expand by five and flip. And then we're gonna fill in the blanks here. All right. We're gonna move control click. What is it? The folder that the base character resides in. That is my being funky. It's not showing me what it's selecting for some reason. Okay, well we'll just um, just go down here instead. It's not showing me what I want to see. Hang on, let me, uh, let me, uh, <laughs> let me try to wake it up here. There it goes. Alright. Should, it, it's not working with the, okay, we're just gonna do it manually then. The, uh, I think the select on the folders is not working for some reason. We'll probably have to restart the program, but I'll do it later. Go back to our... Yeah, so we can control click the layers and just... Oops, went a little too far with it. And just erase. Just tidy it up a little bit. And we can... Manually there. Okay. Now let's get a bright color. That reminds me, there's a bit on the um, work bandana there that's fucked up I'll have to fix. Ooh, too bright, too bright. Let's try it. Let's try it. It's nice blue. That'll be easy to see on the on the leather. Okay, it might be a little eye strainy, but uh, we won't be here long. I promise. <laughs> uh, okay, it's, it's maximum opacity. Bring our boy back. Maximum opacity. What is this? Why is there a thing here? Okay, I don't know what that was, but whatever. So, we're gonna grab, once again, control click. And then we're gonna gently erase, make it smaller, right through here. Yeah. So, that's right, I forgot that, um... So with vector layers, because they're so, they're, they're, if you look at them, they're in chunks there. Whenever you erase, sometimes the chunks act really weird, so it takes a couple tries. But we got it. We're getting there. Okay, I'm gonna clean up that little edge there. I'm just gonna take a nice tiny little brush here and then go along the edge. Just to make sure all of the blue is covered. Um, 
There we go. All right. Oh, God. <sighs> Where's the crossbow? There's the crossbow. We want that behind the boy. We want that behind both boys. <laughs> yeah, see all that detail work. You'll see it a little bit because I'll move the I'll move the character back and forth, but I did originally want to have um like uh, I don't remember what they're called. A bandolier? Is that the is that the thing where uh, you put the bullet? I thought about having one of those, but that classic, like, Van Helsing look is just so good. It's so clean. I wanted to emulate that a bit, a bit more. Which I think he actually has it, if I look over here. Does he have? In some of the screenshots, he has. But most of them, I don't see anymore. Maybe there's a different character design that had it. Oh my god, there's a cartoony one. Oh. Okay, we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> it's a little cursed looking. Um... Let's go ahead and... Okay, what we're gonna do, make it a little easier. We're gonna hide the boy again. I'm gonna put the crossbow on the top. And hide everything else, including you. And because it would just be a little bit easier, we're gonna close this gap here. You'll never see it back there. I'm a perfectionist. Let me just, uh, there we go. That's not perfect, whatever. You won't see it. Don't overthink it, me. Just go with it. Um, bring the boy back. Where's the boy? There he is. Alright, I'm gonna select. Expand by five, and then... Wait, let's expand by three instead. It's a little too much. We're gonna flip it, and we're gonna color this in. We're gonna do a nice silver? I don't know, we can change it later. Depending on what color palette I use for the, uh, like the leather. I'm just gonna go with silver for now. Just so we have it. And, oh, I gotta fix that line. And we're gonna leave that clear in here too. There we go. Let's clean up this line. not gorgeous but it will do see this one there we go all right we got that going on in the background so that needs to be moved well we'll uh let me think Crossbow. Go ahead and name it. I'm gonna put it in the back, yeah. I can just collapse all these folders, it should be fine. It should be uh, easy enough. In the back here. Yeah, in your heart, you see them. Okay, collapse that. There we go. We'll rename that to. Mm, boy. What is this? Was this anything? Oh, that's my sketches. I'm gonna delete that. We don't need those anymore. Um, that looks like an extra layer. This is the sketch. We'll delete those. Just keep it clean. And the crossbow will expand. What is this? The crossbow sketch. Um, I'll keep, you know, I'll keep the sketches. It's, it's fun to have the sketches. I'll just throw them uh, in their own folder instead. And keep those. Put those way in the back. Okay. Now. Color choice? Maybe? Let me see. Let me look at the boy again. In a minute. Let me, uh... I'm really excited for Honk to get gift support as well. I think that would be really fun to play with. Oh, I've got the little boy behind me. I totally forgot that. <laughs> well, we'll use him in a minute, so it's fine. Um, okay. 
we'll just do a basic shadow. All stuff that's easily changeable. Nice blue shadow again. Let's try the soft light again. Give that a shot. Oh, the hat is a little bit clickbait. I'm gonna fix that. There we go. And over here. Make sure that one is nice and clean. Okay. The hat, I'll just have to. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And Honk, it'll just have to be completely molded to the head, pretty much. Um, which, if that's the case. Could I leave it? Mm, do I want it on its own layer or do I want it attached to the base layer? The eyebrows might be underneath it, so it would need to be on its own layer. We'll try it. We'll see. I can always go back. Um, I also like the idea of it being more of a gray color instead of a... It is supposed to be very... Uh, vampire gothic, etc. So, make it more of a, a nice dusty gray. Um, let's just work on shadows for a minute. That's always, that's a fun time. Yeah. Let's play the, the where would this, uh, where would the light be coming from? Where does this shadow go game? The secret is, is you never win. <laughs> you never win that game. You just always struggle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Let me make the brush a little smaller. It's a little bit unruly right now. Okay. And we'll bring it around down here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Tighten it a little bit. Used up all my luck on the other two shadows. There we go. There we go. Let me just flip that. I just flipped that instead. The jacket is pulling away from the shirt, so we want it to have a nice, beautiful, thick shadow here. Okay, and the buckle. Let's bring the shadow down a little bit more, too. Nice, thick effect there. Um, what else do we want? I guess a nice little something here. Ooh, ooh, right in here. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. This little bit here. Prime shadow real estate right here. It's calling to me. It's, it's, it's speaking to me. Do I want it to stick out like that or just stick in the... Yeah, that's good. That's good. That'll do. Oh yeah, underneath. So because it's far away, we're gonna need the the shadow to come out instead and we'll have it we'll just we'll just go in and all erase on the buckles after is that too much that's too much okay. i gotta get the i gotta flip it so my uh wrist motion i kind of want to bring it down a little bit too hang on let's lasso it let's lasso the sucker Maybe? 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 Okay. Maybe. Get a nice 
nice and sharp. I need to pull it in a little bit. I think I think that's what's messing with me. We'll rain it in just a little bit. There we go. I can work with that one. Okay. My music. The loop. I get looped. I wonder how much, I don't even know how much time I have on the, the music, like an hour or two. I don't remember. Let's just flip this. I think it's a re re reflection anyway. We'll just we'll flip the shadow. I need to make sure though, okay, good. I wanted to make sure that it wasn't uh, opacity, uh, connected to the opacity. Sometimes, like I said earlier, the when you copy and paste, when the opacity is like at 50%, it will like throw that out if you um, collapse the layers. And I don't always catch it before it's too late. Um, hasn't messed me up too much, but someday, someday it might. Uh, I don't want it to be today. Can you get in there, little fella? Come on. Let me just zoom in. That's not correct. There we go. There we go. Let's get in there. It's a shadow layer. Okay. Oh wait, I selected. There we go. Did it? Make sure I didn't undo too much there. Okay, there we go. Um, shadows. Yeah, nice thick leather shadows over here on the arms. I need to do some studies on materials. I still don't know a lot. And there's a ton of like, there's those like, uh, what do they call that? It's not, it starts with an H. Holographic? Is that right? I don't think that's right. Uh, really cool materials where they like shine and shimmer in a cool way. I would like to know how to do those. Study those for a bit. Let's see what I'm doing here. Uh, what did I do on the cowboy hat? Let me pull the cowboy hat back up. Oh, I just... <laughs> okay, let's... I'm not gonna do that. Um, although I could... Eh... Do the dip there that's where the shadow or the the sun would be but but this is also kind of stylized so um lighting who never heard of them <laughs> let's see i kind of like it i'm keeping it Do I want the brim? Let's see. Do I want the brim to have the shadow as well? Yeah. That's fine. I'm fine with that. Um. Uh, okay. Is there anywhere I forgot? A little bit on the buckle, maybe. Just a little bit. Spice it up a little bit on the, on the buckle. I want it there. Okay. This is this may be the most <laughs> I'm I'm looking at this may be the most complicated one I've done for the avatar, uh, the the PNG tuber model that I use. It's kind of funny. Um, certainly don't spend this much time on shadows on most of them. <laughs> oh, uh oh. I gotta collapse these layers. There we go. Uh, 
yes, I'm gonna test. I was trying to think of like I had other stream ideas. I've got a couple couple things queued up um, that I still want to do. Like uh, just a bunch of honestly, just a bunch of GameCube games right now. But I've got the itch to play GameCube, the disease. I really want to get- I've wanted for a long time to get my hands on Viva Pinata. But Viva Pinata. At least... Okay, Viva Pinata 1 was on PC. They did have a PC release. But apparently, the, the DLC they released- Or not the DLC, the second one they released, Lost in Paradise I think this was called, is just Viva Pinata but better. Everybody's always told me, just just play that one, just play that one. And and you can't <laughs> you can't get it on PC yet. So I'm like, every every time I think of Viva Pinata, I'm like, maybe this year will be the year that we finally get the port. It hasn't happened yet. But maybe this year will be <laughs> the year. I don't know. Okay, I do want this. I don't know if I want this to be lighter or darker yet, but I do want it to be a different shade. We're gonna do the old value check too. We're gonna need to do that a couple times, I think. So we're gonna go up the top, we're gonna select layer, new correction layer, gradient map, and we're just gonna pick the first one. So it's black and white. And now we can check and make sure you want a good variety on the values. So like the value to the skin and the uh, crossbow is probably a little too close, so I might wanna change that. But, um,. It's looking okay so far. Um, let's do the buckles, I'm thinking. I'm thinking the buckle. The little leather buckle straps. Let's do those darker too. Out of them here. There we go. I'll make the we'll get like a silver in there for the buckles as well. Bring the bring the silver from the crossbow around. Little sloppy. There we go. Just going around. So someday I'll get my hands on Viva Pinata. I think actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I wonder if the Xbox like Game Pass stuff has it. I haven't ever looked into it. I only tried the PlayStation one. But if the Xbox Game Pass stuff has it, then I could try that. I could give that a shot. I hear good things. I think it just went on sale not too long ago. That may have actually been a while ago now that I'm thinking about it. Um, there was a sale though, so I could just keep an eye out for the sale maybe. I'm thinking the shirt underneath would be a different... Oh, I want to make that line thinner too. Hang on. We're going to grab this line here for the leather coat. And we're going to make it a little bit thinner. Some people like to, oops, some people like to make their lines inside the art piece thin, and then the outline of the art piece, no matter what color it is, will have a much thicker line. And that's kind of a neat interpretation. I, I like that well enough. I don't know if I'll do it here. But I wanted to try it, you know? Yes, Anna? Is there something back here? No, okay. And I want to make... I want to consolidate again. And I'm going to grab just this... Oops. Hi, sweetie. Are you back again? My goodness. This is, I think, the third time of the stream. Not even tonight. Not even including earlier. <laughs> it's the third time right now. In the past three hours. Is your face itchy? What's wrong? Yeah, okay. I had to itch the face. That's what it was. Um... Yeah, I want that pretty thin, I think. I'll probably go over it as well with a... um. With a color 
like I did on the other one. I don't want it to be just black. It's a little too harsh for what I'm doing. The outlines here for what I'm doing right now. Um, clean up this line here too. Oh baby, it's a bot. Uh, it's a it's a follower bot. Bot follower? No. Um, we're gonna ban that, and we're gonna report it. Oh, that's it. That's the one. It's a bot. Or it's a scam? Yeah, it's a scam. They can figure out what I mean. It's fine. Yeah, block this user. That's fine. Just a bunch of numbers. It's not a real person. What's the what's the the Twitter thing? Um, my name is. Hello. Uh, like no name, lots of numbers, and I have shitty opinions. That bit. <laughs> it's really true though. Hi, sweetie. Just go ahead and make yourself at home here. Walk right on by. Hey, that's my water. You can't have it. No. She has a bad habit of tipping my water over and spilling it on things like my mouse. Yeah, that was not fun. You dingbat. Can I help you? You're rubbing her face on my pen. I kind of need to use that. <laughs> kind of, kind of busy. Okay, you done? Good job. Keep up the good work. She keeps me honest. Okay, I redirect. Clearing some of those gaps. You will. I don't know why I'm I'm doing this part because you will never see that shit. Let's make the shirt a different shade as well. Make it a little bit, a little bit, make it a little bit more yellow too. I want it to, I'm still trying to figure out what color palette I want to do here. <sighs> Let's bring it around down. Why is there like a little thing on the line art? Let me clean that up. You. What are you doing back here? That, oh, that's that's that. Okay. You can fix that pretty easy. Is that line art? It is. Why can't I select it? No, let's delete that. What is that back there? Oh, it's okay, that's why. <laughs> it's connected somehow. There we go. I think I can just like, yeah, I'm just gonna delete that one line. A little thinner line. Didn't do any harm. Grab this line and make it smaller too. Did I consolidate? Let me consolidate. Oops, there we go. All right. that a little thinner too it probably I don't know it may it may make enough of a difference we're gonna we're gonna see if it does to do that I prefer it this way therefore it is worth it that's not what I wanted Where's the there it is okay clean that up uh, I did buy got a couple things on the steam sale one thing in particular, though, I got a game, um, it's called, oh, what is it called? Let me pull it up. It's called Dracula something. <laughs> oh, I closed Steam. Hang on, do I have the, do I have the thing still on my desktop? Okay, it's called Dracula Love Kills. That's the one. <laughs> It's a point-and-click adventure. Um, it's pretty funny so far. I did a, I did a little test the other day. 
and it's got like um it's just real funny it's real cheesy so i'm looking forward to that one i can play that one on stream too once i get one of these vampire outfits done i'd be happy to do that because it's it's very silly and um I was playing it with um, a couple of friends. I wish I wish they could uh, they could join because it was extra funny, and they helped me with the. Um, it has it's a point and click adventure, but it has these um, segments where you do what is that called? It's not a word search, but word search, but for pictures. That's the one. <laughs> And you'd have to, uh, you'd have to find the shit. And I spy, that's what it was. Yeah, basically. And, um, alright, let's, let's, let's change some colors. Let's do this. Let me look at my second monitor here. Soon. We will have a new boy behind me very soon. Uh, okay. So, let's... Get the default color. Let's make the shirt a little bit brighter. We're gonna make it... We gotta avoid the yellows and the greens, but we can do anything else. Looks like my base is going to be a red. What goes with red? Would be a nice blue. Maybe. Would be a nice desaturated blue. We can try it. Let's see what it looks like. My favorite part is, is is tinkering with it. Um. Hmm. Okay, a little too much, maybe. Let's try. Let's try again. Oops. Maybe more of a. I think I can dip my toes into yellow and be okay. Got like a, a nice, like like a tan yellow kind of with a red maybe. Maybe. I do want it to be have enough character to, to, to pop. I don't want it to just blend in with like grays and stuff too much. A little personality to it. I can also make the, um... Mm, I like that darker. Let's change the shirt again a little bit. What, what does it look like full gray? Uh, I don't hate full gray either, though. Now that I'm looking at it. <laughs> what does that look like compared? Okay, yeah, full gray. Because uh, I think the brown looks a little more Indiana Jones. That's not right, quite the vibe I want to give off. Oh, so let me change the background here. So it's more of um, a neutral tone. Because I think it's throwing me off a little bit. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's definitely throwing me off. Alright. That's, that's more of a... Yeah, it's a little bit more of a, a yellowy color. Okay. Alright, I think I'm gonna go with that. Let's bring the opacity, make the shadow a little less harsh. Since we're working with such dark colors, um, on the shirt, soft light works pretty well. On, um, on the, uh, sorry, the work shirt that we made, the paint shirt, works pretty well. But because these are darker colors, it's a little bit strong, a little, a little harsh. And let's. Any kind of. Well, let me just let me just grab a different. Hang on. We're gonna do that, and we're gonna do opacity instead. All right, so we gotta select some different. So because of the colors we have gone with, uh, that might work actually, hang on. 
this on the... Oh, it's on a different layer, that's why. Yeah, so we're gonna put this on a different layer. So let's make the line art opaque here. And we're gonna hide that. We're gonna grab all of the bandana line art that we can see here. All of it. And we are going to put it on this layer instead. Is that everything? Looks like it. It's gonna get its own layer so it's not drowned out by the brown on the, the other. Okay, let's go a little bit more maybe. I can also, I'll go up with it and then just make it darker so it has a little bit of a... No. Hmm. Hmm. 25 maybe? I can work with 25. That's fine. I can vibe with that. Uh, let's get the crossbow going in the background. I'm gonna keep it pretty simple, I think. Since you can't see much of it, and we're gonna hide the boy. We're gonna need two things, and that is one of these browns. Take that one. We're gonna make it more of a wood color. Okay. And this is the, yeah, okay, so we're gonna clip a layer. Oh yeah, I didn't even talk about clipping layers. Um, if you press this little button over here, above the layers there, you can clip it to the layer below and you will only draw on the layer that is like, uh, that is selected as the, the main layer, which is so nice. Alex taught me that little trick. I had no idea. The only wood bit actually. Um, wait, hang on. <laughs> Let me pull up my reference again. But the only wood bit is the middle. Can't really see much of it from the. Yeah, okay. Can't really see much of it from the um the bottom. Make it a little bit more. We're not too saturated, so we don't want to be too, a bit too poppin'. We don't want it to steal all the thunder back there, you know? Um, make it a little darker. Actually, let's just make the gray a little darker instead. Okay. And we'll make that a little bit brighter instead. So we have a nice contrast of Values. Circus of values. Um, I don't really like. Let me. Okay. Warm it up a little bit. I don't really like that color on its own, but. I'll worry about it after. Um, shadows. Let's do shadows. Let me go back up here. Where is my boy? And we're just gonna copy and we're gonna grab that color. I'm gonna paste back here. Everything's as it should be. Hide that one again. And then we're gonna... That doesn't look right. I guess it's because it's we're on this gray. I'll change the gray here in a minute. Okay. You won't see it, so I'm not even going to worry about it. I kind of want to do a little shadow in this little bit here. Let's make it smaller. Zoom in a little bit here. here. It doesn't need to be perfect. Okay, and there we go. Mess that one up. Hang on. Let me do that one again. There we go. 
this one curves. There we go. Alright, I'll clean it up just a little bit. And make it a little more opaque. There we go, that's better. A little nicer. It's also on the bottom end, so I need to get the shadow right through here. Some of that shadow work is gonna go, so goodbye. See ya. Sometimes it's like that. Okay. That's better. I'll do little shadows here. The book should be in shadow. And do I want to do that? Sure, I can live with that. That's my that's my that's my saying for the day, apparently. Every day is a little different. A little tee hee moment was the one from like two weeks ago. Glad that one's over. Glad that stopped. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Listen, I don't make the rules, I just live here. <sighs> okay, is that good? Is that done? Oh, let me put like a shadow on the bottom too. put because it's metal I should probably put a highlight we're gonna do a nice little very subtle yellow light we're just gonna bring it across I should probably actually put it on the line art let's do that instead let's put it on the line art that's that's more fun give me that good depth that I want Gonna have to do zoom in here. Make the brush a little smaller. And just there we go. Oh, let me erase that. smaller brush so it has a has a thinner shine to it more of the it's more of the suggestion of a highlight with metal um, it's uh, you have to alternate the, the the shininess in a weird way I need to go back and study metal again it's been a while honestly <laughs> I did gold last time and gold is weird the way that it shimmers and reflects light Hang on. Is there an easy way to do this? Probably. Am I just gonna brute force it? Let's find out. Yes, I am. Okay, it worked. 
That's all that matters. What I can probably do here too is just clean the old. Oops. Let's get the old grabby hand in here, and just oh, very delicately, very gently. Please don't. Okay. <sighs> all right. Flip it. Put it into position, and then we'll just erase what we don't need after. Right in here. Oh, I think it was here actually. Yeah. Okay, rotate it, get it nice and lined up here. All right, that should work. I can, I can, I can fix this. Mm. There we go. Erase that. The excess. Let's come back here this up. Let me turn the stabilization back lower. And then... Oh, right. Gotta consolidate layers. I'm not going for full realism here, so I'm not gonna stress about it. Oh yeah, right here. This needs a highlight, though. Um, I did get my hands. I use Libby, which is, um, I've mentioned it before, it's a library app that you, um, you just, uh, boot it up, put in your library card, and your local library pops up, and, um, you can rent, like, audiobooks and books from your phone. Very, very helpful for me. Um, I like, I like audiobooks a lot more now. Um, but I did get my hands on the long-awaited Interview with a Vampire audiobook. I've listened to it before, but the wait for that sucker is like... Uh, I don't know, like 25 weeks or something ridiculous. I'd have to look again to double check, but it's a long fucking time. I finally got my hands on it, and... Um, I realized too late that I would not have enough time to finish it. <laughs> so I had to return it like a couple days ago. Uh, I listened to like the first part of it and then uh, I was like, I can't, I can't do this right now. I gotta come back. So I'm back on the waiting list, baby. Here's hoping though. The only thing that I need is before the before the AMC show comes out. That's it. That's it and that's all. And I I own the fucking book. I can just go read it. Oh, I need to swap these. I own the book. I can just go read it. Like, worst case scenario. But it would have been nice. Although, it's funny that the, the... The the person that narrates that book does, like, this very particular, like, dracula e voice. It's pretty funny. I think it's funny, at least. I like it. Uh, some people, some people don't like it. Some people are like, this is stupid. And I get where you're coming from, but also, live a little. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so I'll, oof, I guess I'll talk about that one next time. There was an update from um, Vampire Survivors. Fantastic fucking game. Um, so I can go back to it and play more of that and talk about it next time. Um, I just need more content. Need more uh, stuff to talk about with vampires because I'm, I'm kind of running low right now, not gonna lie. Um, we could get a... No, I'm not gonna get that. Um, is that... Wait a second. Huh? Oh, that makes sense why I was... Or why I was, um... Faded like that. Uh... Okay, nice little light shimmer there. Um... Hmm... <laughs> I can... Oh yeah, let me... Fix the... Oops, 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 oops. Okay, let me fix the wood as well. So it's, um... There's not a gray outline for the wood. I don't like that. 
So let's, let's get that nice and clean. Fix that up. There we go. I'm to delete the, there's a little, the highlight here. I can put a highlight on it, but I want to make it different. Get like a yeah 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 there we go there we go all right does it need a second highlight or is that enough which one's the highlight is that sorry second shadow I'm starting to lose my mind it's hit that point it's hit that <laughs> that time frame okay yeah we'll do that we'll just we'll just we'll just darken the It would look pretty cool with, okay, we'll do, we're doing a second shadow. It would look pretty cool. Hear me out. <laughs> I know how earlier, I always do this where I'm like, I don't know how much longer I'm gonna stream for. And then I go for like another hour or two. I don't know, I just, I just, I just get in the zone, man. The fucking auto zone. Okay. That soft light, no, soft. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 it's all coming together. <laughs> I just like art. I don't know if you know this about me. Art is, it's fun and miserable and we love that, honestly. We love that. I got another idea, actually, um. Ooh. I was testing out some, so I started this, I was thinking about opening up uh, an Etsy shop just to sell um, emotes like passively for like Twitch and stuff. So that way I don't have to like constantly crank out custom emotes to have something out there on the internet. Um, let me think, is this all I want? Yeah, that's all I want, I think. I think that's, that's juicy. That's exactly what I wanted. All right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The boy. All right, so let's go ahead and export the crossbow because I think the crossbow is done, ready to go. I think it's fine. Crossbow, throw that on the desktop. We can finally have a new boy behind me. Um, okay, I want the hat on a separate layer. I'm making sure that's exactly what I want before I continue. Okay, we're gonna just copy or cut and we're gonna put him in his own folder. There you go, buddy. Loose and fancy free. I'll put that in here. And we gotta copy the, or cut the shadow. And we're gonna copy this one. Is there anything else I need? I think that's everything. All right. All right, so we need to export this guy with the, um, with the boy, but not with the face. I'm not gonna make that mistake twice in one night. I'll make it next time, but not, <laughs> but not twice in one night. Export PNG desktop, Helsing, base, that's what I want. Uh, we're gonna hide the boy. We're gonna hide the shirt. Uh, look at the hat. One thing I want to do with the hat before I export it is because I think for the other hats, what I have done. Yes, Anna? Hi, sweetie. I've made a little bit of an overhang. So we're gonna make a little bit of an overhang, right? Along the side. And you can't really hardly even see it. I'm gonna do a little bit less than that. Can't hardly even see it, but it helps me later when I have to line the the layers up. Oops, that works. Let me get my wrist in the right position here. Um, I need to practice line confidence again. I am 
rusty. Okay. That'll do. Alright. Let's hide the boy again. Act 4, PNG, desktop, Helsing hat. Alright, we can, you know what, let's, let's do a little fun activity. We will set one up from mostly default. So we can see it in action. Because I haven't done that tonight. Uh, well, go to the face back. There's the crossbow. There's the face. Alright, you can look at, look at the, the precious man. Look at him go. Uh, we're gonna save. That's important. Can't forget that. I'm gonna close my reference because I think I'm done with it. Okay. Let me shift gears. Let me open the folder that I need. And I'm gonna copy over, instead of, I'm gonna copy over, we're gonna copy over Mario. It's gonna be our base because Mario has a back piece. Now we're gonna rename it to Helsing. Delete all that. We're gonna make Mario number two. We're gonna make Frog number three. We're gonna make Emotes number four. Sure. And Pokemon number five. Okay. Get all those boys out of here. They don't need to be here. Actually, that. Wait. Oops. Hang on. This is fine. We can make this work. All right. I'm in, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the right, I'm in the right folder, right? <laughs> Hang on, let me double check. Yeah, okay, I'm in the right folder. All right, we're good to go. Okay, um, so if I load up Helsing, it should be. Yeah, it's Mario right now. So we're gonna. Hi, I don't know. So we're gonna replace fluid with crossbow. Actually, no, I was gonna I was gonna do it individually. Okay. This this'll work. I just have to the only thing I do have to replace is the the base. The base will have to be replaced. Um, but everything else will fill in the gaps. Or so I can show off Honk a little bit more. Because I love doing it. I'm a big fan. Um, crossbow. Alright, put the hat and the crossbow in the folder. And then we're gonna minimize that. And we're booting Honk. So give it a minute. Hydrate. Stretch break. Yeah, good job, Anna. That was a good stretch. Following instructions. That never happens. <laughs> Stinky. Desperate for attention. I'll be done very soon, I promise. I've already gone way too, way too long. As you do. Time management. Never heard of it. Hi, sweetie. Honk, you ready yet? Nope. Still still cooking. Still thinking about it. Hi. Thank you. I don't even know if you can hear her. Can you? Yeah, you can. Yeah, she's beeping. She does this. Oh, Honk's ready. Okay. Eh. No, never mind. It, it lied to me. Still booting. What else is going on? I talked about Rude Factory. Talked about Nintendogs, right? No, I didn't talk about Nintendogs. I talked a little bit, but I mentioned it offhand. I haven't played Nintendogs again, but I only ever had the DS version. Hello, honk. I only ever had the DS version. So I've been playing the 3DS version, which is oddly different. I mostly just wanted to boot it up to, to play with cats, because I never played with those, and it looks kind of neat. But there's a lot more to it that they changed. Like they added the, added the little me's and stuff as the shopkeepers. The whole walk system is different. Although I do like the DS walk system better on the record. There we go. There's there's Mario. He's back there. Make it a little smaller too. 
Okay, I don't know why it moves both of them, but whatever. All right. <laughs> oh yeah, I got the little mustache. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna we're just gonna start deleting stuff. Let me make. Uh, well, you can't really see. Hang on, I'll just zoom out instead. Okay. So we we're gonna delete the hat. We're gonna delete. Oh yeah, he's got the 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 gloved hands. I forgot about that. We're gonna have to swap the hands out, but we'll we'll do that after. Cowboy hat. I do not need cowboy hat. I'm gonna delete scarf. We do not need overalls. Is what replaced. We do not need flute. And we're gonna add. So we add create layer here, and we're gonna create layer the crossbow, and we're gonna create layer for the hat. And we're gonna hide the controller's hands because I can't see behind them. So. <laughs> I don't know if the mustache should stay, but it's here for right now, so it's we can enjoy that. Uh, the eyebrows need to be behind, so the hat needs to be above. Yeah, so we're selecting the correct layer. Uh, Helsing hat needs to be on the topmost layer, I think. Why are the eyebrows still on top? What are you doing? Why are you that high up? Go back down. Go to four. Okay. So, when you first do this though, because everything isn't set up for the look yet, we have to set that up. So let's get the hat. I'm gonna make it the same tall oval. I'm gonna try to line it up exactly with the base so that they line up and don't clip over at all. Where's the base? Is it, is it, is it, is it, what's it called? Overalls, that's what it's called. That's where the base is, so we're gonna look at that when we go over to the hat. Oh, I went too touch too far. All right, and then for the crossbow, we're gonna use the same. Um, you can use different different uh, look boxes and stuff, but I found this one works for almost everything. I've only used it for a handful of things. Did I just? Okay, I clicked on the wrong thing. Tall oval, and we're gonna make this less than I think so that it should stay on the yeah the opposite side I'm gonna make it a little bit even less than that maybe maybe we want it to move move opposite of the body so that it looks like you're turning a bit more Okay, let me let me calibrate the eyes. I think that's messing with me too. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's all right. The hat's a little bit off kilter. A little bit too much looks like. So let's turn the hat down just a smidge. A little more tweaking. Just a little bit more. We've almost got it. Uh, it's a little too low. Where's the hat? There he is. Pull it by one. There we go. I don't think I'll keep the mustache, but it's a good bit though. It is a good bit. That was... Somebody's idea. Whose idea was that? I don't remember. It was Alex or Matt's idea. Alright. That'll do. That's enough uh, character recognition. For me also let me move the mustache so i can see <laughs> there we go that's enough character recognition for me i think that, i think that works that's that's functional all right cool and i'll just save and close that out and let's hide the second honk we don't need the second honk anymore thank you for your service honk but That'll do. Um, is there anything else I need to work on? Oh, I can show off the the other project I'm working on. So yeah, because I, I mentioned the the Etsy store thing, um, Alex had a good idea to try making honk avatars. So I was going. Everybody, everybody in the grandma uses uh, anime avatars. So I was gonna test out the anime avatars to see how functional they would be. Like like I said, the the 
live 2D stuff is, is, that's the cream of the crop. That's the top tier. But that stuff costs like 700 to 1000 plus dollars, right? To have a custom one made. Um, and it's a lot of work. You are actively rigging the whole thing. Um, this is a little bit... <laughs> Can I help you? I mean, it's more stylized. It's a different, it's a different style. But I was, I was doing some testing. Why is it plaque? You're not supposed to. Uh, let me get the. Oh, I, I guess like the green screen. Right. Um. So I was doing some testing with it, see how it would look. That's what I got so far. Still needs some work. Um. I mean, a lot of work. I'm not done anything hardly to it except. Uh... Okay, Anna. Baby. You are rioting. Can I help you? I'm petting you right now. What do you need? Okay. That, that's it. That's the time to stop the stream, I guess. Um, yeah, it's, it's coming along. We'll see how it goes. I'll just keep it posted as I go. I won't keep that one as like a secret thing. I uh, just go changes. I don't care. It's just the green screen thing. But, um, it's something. It's something. It's a thing. Is there anything else I forgot? Before I hit the dusty trail. I think I covered pretty much everything. Let me look at my note. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. It's cool. I wanted to load my normal avatar, please. <laughs> but please. It takes so long. There we go. Alright. So. I'm gonna call it there. Got a lot done. I've been putting it off, so I'm glad to- I'm glad to chip away at it some. It's been nice. Uh, I appreciate hanging out with me and uh, listen to me talk about honk for like a billion fucking times. I don't know. I like honk. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed and try to get some sleep. So, uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out and uh, I'll catch you next time. Yeah. Bye, good night. Yeah, Anna, you wanna say good night? Good job. Keep up the good work. Goodbye.